In this video, I'm going to show you how to start your first Python program. First, have the code that I gave you the other day on that piece of paper handy because you're going to be typing that in. I've got mine open in a Word window. The second thing you need to do once you've got your code handy is go up to the, I, the magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner. You're going to search for IDLE, I-D-L-E. Your computer is going to find IDLE and you go ahead and click, click to start the program. It's going to load your development environment where you'll type your Python programs. I'm going to drag that over to the side so I can see my code and Python at the same time. Then go up to the File menu and select New. This will create a new code window where you can type your code. It looks an awful lot like the other window, but without that text at the top. Go ahead and type in your code, being careful to preserve the spacing, because spacing is super important to Python. Be very careful to type it exactly, and if you make a mistake, as I did, just backspace and fix it. Once you've done typing your entire code, you'll be ready to test it. Once you're done typing all of your code, you're going to go ahead and save it. Actually, it's a good idea if you save your work as you go along because you never want to lose it if you get distracted or something terrible happens. Go ahead and click on File and select Save, and then come up with a name for your Python program. Something meaningful that you'll remember later. When you type in your name, I'm going to call mine Caesar Cipher and hit Save, then you're ready to run it. Go up to the Run menu and select Check Module. That's going to make sure that your program compiles correctly. If it doesn't, you'll need to go back and fix some mistakes. Then select Run Module, and you'll get these chevrons where you type the name of your program. Actually, you type the name of your method, either Caesar Encrypt or Caesar Decrypt, and put your message inside double quotes with a comma and then what shift you're going to use. Press the Enter key and it'll uh, echo on the screen what your message is in encode, encoded with that shift. Then type the Caesar decrypt to check the other method, typing in the code that you were given and the shift, and you'll see it unencrypt. Try this with several different messages and play around until you share messages with others.